going to say a new sound. B. 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 What's my mouth doing to make this sound? Mm. Coming together. Mm-hmm. And um, n not as much. Uh, B. B. Is it more or less the same? B. B. Are my lips doing the same thing? I think so. Mm -hmm, they are. Yep. In both sounds, my lips are coming together and they're popping open. B. B. I want you yeah. to try and make this sound. B. 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 Mm -hmm. Check yourself out in the mirror. B. 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 So not B. 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 Once you have introduced the two sounds within a sound pair separately, you can focus on voicing distinctions. These are taught within a sound pair and are taught using icons and the terms quiet for voiceless sounds and noisy for voiced sounds. Voicing distinctions are also trained using tactile kinesthetic knowledge. Oftentimes you can provide a model and have the patient touch your own throat to feel the vibration of voice sounds and then have them touch their own throat.